Atlanta at home. Four. Money for the Bengals. A lot of money for the Bengals. Four and 53 the total. Money on the over as well. Bengals were right there against Carolina. Dalton had four interceptions, though. And Atlanta can't stop a nosebleed right now. All kinds of issues on defense. Although you got to give them... Uh, give them some uh, catch them, give them some breaks, uh, Teddy, some slack. All these guys are hurt. Three guys are out. Another guy with his Achilles, McKinley's banged up. Guys dropping like flies with the Atlanta defense. And I don't like what I'm seeing so far out of the Cincinnati defense. Remember, Luck and the Colts moved the ball on them week one. They gave up a, uh, some points, blew a big lead. That got cut to five in the fourth quarter against the Ravens. And then Carolina moved it up on them last week, too. Sure. I mean, Cincinnati's defense hasn't been great, but when it comes to defensive injuries, what Atlanta has suffered, these aren't just uh, okay players. These are pro bowlers. The pro bowl safety, Keanu Neal, season-ending ACL tear. Pro bowl linebacker, Deion Jones, IR, right foot surgery. Uh, The other starting safety, Ricardo Allen, just tore his Achilles. The pass rush, the defensive end, McKinley you talked about, and Derek Shelby. Both those guys are dealing with groin injuries. These are significant concerns for that defense. Nose tackle, Grady Jarrett on the injury bug. Quote, definitely tough losses. We care about guys as humans. In this profession, you get hurt. It's unfortunate. Yeah, NFL players certainly do uh, get hurt. And, of course, Atlanta's coming off that grueling game. You know, (laughs) 68 minutes uh, against the Saints uh, last week, an overtime loss. And... When you look at teams off of these overtime games, look at the Steelers versus KC in week two. They get bombed in that game. The Vikings at home versus the Bills in week three. They get bombed in that game. The Packers at Washington in week three. They get bombed in that game. So you can understand why the money's coming against Atlanta. The question is, Cincinnati good enough to do anything about it, Paulie? Because that, a concern, given that you talked about their own uh, injury problems and the fact that their defense couldn't get stops last week either. Yeah, well, I think they'll move the ball. Mixon's banged up, but I think A.J. Green can have a big game. And Dalton has plenty of weapons as well. No doubt they'll move it uh, against Atlanta in this one. I agree with the move. I like the dog. And I also agree with the the move with the over. Atlanta's got all kinds of issues on defense as well. Uh, Cincinnati couldn't stop the run last week. And Freeman back at practice. Check his status. We tape early Friday morning. See if he can go as well in that one. Good game coming up. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.